So, here's the update on the 3G swap from the old alternator. Uh, ditching that thing, so. Going from a whopping 35 amps and going to the 130 amp uh, Ford unit. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, the biggest thing is your bracketry. What do you do at that point in time? Uh, your choices are to either eBay it and then you know, wind up with brackets that won't work and it creates a nightmare. What I did was I figured by using the uh, factory components it would be less of a headache. So I got the 66 and up alternator bracket. This is the CAE uh, 10156B unit, so just a standard uh, alternator unit itself. And I've also got the factory uh, component. This is normally a top side mount. However, to maintain the integrity, because this is a heavy uh, weighted uh, alternator, um, I decided to use the factory components. The initial piece that we fabricated, uh, this is going to be a little bit too much on the light side. Uh, so out of a, actually <laughs> a 10 gauge steel, uh, it was cut out using a torch and then from there hand formed with a hammer and a um, little bit of heat, a lot of bit of heat, and also uh, fabricated in a vise. So it's got the bend in it which will also strengthen the unit itself and then whereas this was too flimsy of a piece, this actually is going to be a really good uh, component will last for years to come. And once it's painted, you really couldn't even tell that it's you know, a hand fed uh, piece itself. Here's the cardboard template that was actually used. And as you can see, it's literally just a simple component that just outlines that. But true to form, this was used to form this. And then like I said, with the integrity of the 45 degrees, it gives it a lot of rigidity. Uh, plus, like I said, it's steel, so you can't go wrong there. So. Um, here are some of the uh, parts that we used. Here's the aluminum uh, spacers that was actually cut out on a lathe by my race car fab wizard guy. And so uh, the back was an inch and a quarter and the front is just three eighths of an inch. And this is actually the original Ford uh, bolting, uh, excuse me, bolts uh, that are being used. So again, just maintaining the integrity of just Ford components. So. Here's the outside view, and then, like I said, I'll show you what it's mounted on the inside. Uh, this is, of course, I mounted with the engine side. This is going to go towards the block, and then this component will uh, bolt on the outside. And so, again, you're going to see the rigidity once it gets uh, put into the uh, car itself. And again, this is going to go into a 62 Ford uh, with a 390. And the one saving grace is. This actually had the hole uh, drilled in the block uh, from the factory, so it's a late 62 piece. And if you can tell with the water pumps, you gotta be careful. This is a 62, 63, 64 water pump, uh, so it's got the dowel in it. The later units actually have a bolt hole in there, which is how this would actually mount and be the top side mount. I inverted it so it maintained the correct geometry, and so it really looks pretty killer. Um, I'll go ahead and mount it inside the car so you can see. So I've mounted in the car, gosh, less than uh, 15 minutes. So I'll go ahead and put her in and we'll show you what it looks like. So before mounting it in the car, I wanted to show you what the exterior looks like uh, because once it's in the car, it's going to be kind of dark and it's almost impossible to see. So again, factory style bracket. Don't pay attention to the nuts. This is where the water pump mounting is. This nut and bolt assembly will actually be there. And this maintains the integrity of the factory piece uh, for the alternator adjustment itself. Since this was metric, this was a uh, eight millimeter. Uh, this was tapped out to go to three eighths. So it's the standard size. So, you know, no hybrid of, you know, metric parts. Um, as you can see, uh, see, I also used the single pulley to get rid of the belt. This is just a unit I got off of eBay uh, for the 3G itself. It was like 18 bucks. So between the brackets, which was 40, uh, this will just round it up to an even 20 bucks. And then the alternator itself was 70 bucks. 
you know, I'm in it for just about 120 bucks, more or less, not including some of the nuts and bolts and odds and ends. But uh, as you can see, it, it really is a simple, you know, unit. It has a lot of integrity and it's not, you know, really flimsy. So as you can see, again, I talked about the engine side and this is just a duplicate of the original factory bracket. However, like I said, just by flipping it around, it gave the uh, appropriate uh, dimensions needed to maintain the integrity of the, you know, the alternator itself. And for you considering the 3G swap, how to tell them apart, uh, again with the 3Gs, um, if you see the two holes, that means this is a 130 amp unit. If it has the four holes in it, and you know, it just basically looks like the four hole spread like that, that'll mean that it's a 95 amp unit. So, you know, adding additional 100 amps. So if I wanted to go to fuel injection, uh, better sound system, you know, power, whatever, I'm going to have tons of amps to work with. And then I could run every accessory between heaters, wipers, lights without, you know, draining a system, you know, and again, you know, keep a nice battery uh, charged and provide enough cold cranking amps to you know, fire up the 390. So I'll go ahead and now mount it into the car so you can actually see it in its live natural habitat. Already mounted in, literally took less than 30 seconds to put it in. I'll just go ahead and, and tighten it. And I'll even put on the belt so you can see it line up. But everything's pretty much on point.
of the bottom bolt and snug. Now the fan spacer went, my bad. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, I've got the alignment on point. Again, with the spacers and everything, this is snug down really nice. Uh, but again, it's, it's all Ford. So it's not like a situation where you went with a one wire. I just wanted to keep the simplicity of also just maintaining the same color uh, patterns for the wiring itself. But again, just being able to do it uh, yourself and not farming it out and you know it's going to give you the satisfaction knowing it's been done but done right so uh, i'll post up once we get it fired up and you know get the wiring already sorted out i do have a, a 3g clip that's been modified with the exciter wire and so um i'll keep you guys posted on that as well if you have any questions you know hit me up or if you think about getting a, a plate fabbed up and you need the a template you'll let me know and you know, see what I can do as far as getting a template, you know, out to you. But uh, again, uh, any comments, please, you know, like and subscribe. Uh, thanks.